Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to do a, a super quick recipe, uh, sous vide. It's uh, dolce de leche, which is uh, Latin American style caramel. And it's basically made with uh, sugar and milk. And uh, you can make it on the stove, you can make it with a uh, pressure cooker, you can make it uh, a variety of ways. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to do it sous vide. It's actually super freaking easy, one of the easiest recipes imaginable. Uh, when I'm done with the dolce de leche, I'm going to make some uh, Rice Krispie treats out of it, see how those come out. So, to do this recipe, you really only need two things. Uh, you need some sweetened condensed milk. Uh, two 14 ounce cans should do the trick for this recipe. And um, you need your sous vide circulator. Uh, set it up for 185 degrees and uh, you know it'll take about half an hour to get to that temperature. Uh, using you know pretty hot water to start with but anyway get your temperature bath up to uh, 185 degrees and when it's ready uh, all we really need to do is just uh, remove these labels and uh, that's pretty much it uh, try to scrape as much glue off as possible uh, if not you know it's not the end of the world but uh, you want to get the paper off because otherwise you'll wind up with wet paper floating all around the uh, the things so you just leave them sealed and uh, plop them in there for 15 hours at 185 degrees so as you can see we're at 185 degrees Fahrenheit obviously not Celsius that would be way past the boiling point of water and uh, these tongs because you want to gently set these in uh, the water Okay, so it's been uh, 15 hours and uh, I'm going to take these out carefully with a pair of tongs and let them rest for about an hour. You need to get these cans to about room temperature, otherwise if you open up when they're hot, they could explode. So definitely don't do that. Uh, like I said, just going to take these out, let them sit for an hour, maybe longer. I don't know, it depends on the, how long it takes for them to cool off. So. Cans have cooled and now we're going to make our uh, Rice Krispie Treats. So grease up a uh, pan of some sort. And uh, take the uh, cans of the dolce de leche. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a big can of caramel we got here. And uh, pop it in there. The outsides of your cans may, you know, rust a little bit, but the inside is totally fine. Look at all that. Delicious. Dolce de leche. Alright, so I'm gonna add, I don't know, probably half a bag of these. See where we're at. And then uh, go from there. So I'll show you uh, what it looks like and how it tastes here in, uh, in a sec. Okay, so <clears throat> mixed it all together. And here's what we have some beautifully coated Rice Krispie stuff. So take this. Spoon it in here. This is a 9 by 9 pan. <clears throat> and uh, flatten it out and toss it in the fridge for, like I said, an hour or so. Maybe longer. Doesn't really matter. And uh, then we're done. Okay, it's been uh, actually overnight. And they're uh, ready to rock. But like I said, you can just wrap them up for an hour and cool them off, and we'll probably be fine. Oh man. Nice. Nice caramely goodness. Okay, so the flavor of the, the caramel is delicious in these, but I did not use enough Rice Krispies. So they came out a little soggy, the liquid to puff ratio or whatever is off a bit. So if you're making these at home, use a whole box. Which is, uh, let's see, it says this is a nine ounce box. So use the whole box. I only used about half of it when you're making these. And they'll come out a lot crispier and delicious. That This taste though is awesome of this caramel stuff. The dolce de leche. Thanks for watching my experiment. And uh, give us a try at home though. The caramel's really good. Um, so anyway, if you're interested in the equipment you saw in the video today, Hit the show more button 
on the links and uh, or, or leave a comment and ask a question. I'm I'm usually try to answer as many as I can. So anyway, thanks for watching.